insert your brush right into the color like that. It's nice and thick right on the end of it there. See how thick that is? Now, so what I'm going to have you do now is just kind of slide this on the edges. Reinsert your brush. You have to keep the paint real thick if you want it to do what it's designed to do. If you don't, it will dry out real dull. See how bright that is? You've got to get this real thick on there. Reload your brush very often. Now, especially on this one. This, this is the one that we need to have the really bright color on. See how that makes that pop right out there as though the sun's really hitting that? And you can put a little white in that too if you want to, but as long as it goes on real thick. So I'm going to come up here and hit the top of this now. So you can actually see the pipe, the pipe, the paint just pile right on there. It's a little thick even. This is where painting a little looser, almost sort of an impressionistic style, will serve most of you really well if you're not afraid to do it. Most of us are a little afraid to, to loosen up because we think we're ruining our painting, but in reality, the looser you paint, the better your painting will be. Now, you do the same thing with the white. After you've put some of the highlights of the reds and the oranges on, then you go down now to your whites. Uh, you take pure white with just a little tint of color. I mean, not too much, but you just mix in the white. It's nice and clean maybe just a little bit of orange or a little bit of yellow, a little bit of both. And now this is where we come in and we spot highlight the snow areas, like right here, for instance. See how much brighter that is? You want, to, you want to brighten the stuff up. I mean, we're talking major bright here. Reload. This is where at the end of the painting like this, you need to reload often because you want to stay clean and pure. And you just kind of work your way around, looking for specific spots where you think the snow would look good piled up. And back in here is a great spot. I wanted to get this real white right here. See right here? Yeah. Because your eye is going to be led right back to this spot. And you need to get that very white. And what I mean by that, not so much to use the pure white, but see, it's just, it's just got a more, more, more white than anything else. It's not the dull white we used earlier. Might want to put a little on the top of this little mountain here, kind of in between the trees. Put a little scatter here and there on, on these mountains up here. Because remember, it's the snow that kind of sticks in the cracks. It also adds that little bit of a snap to it. There's a couple of spots that are real bright way on top where it contrasts against that sky back there. Yeah, I like that. And then over here on the right side, on the left side, Similar situation. A little more white here and there. And then we're just about done with the main stuff. Now you 
folks, you can take this highlighting business as far as you want to go with it. Now, you can come back and put some more glow up here in your clouds, silver, brighter silver linings. You can dry brush them brighter. See, a lot of times I'll take uh, right in the center right here where this glow is, I like to put the paint on real thick and go over this two or three times and just kind of pat that in like a little whiter glow right there. It just looks more vivid when you do that. And then you can just add a little this anywhere you want it and then come back through with your little uh, dead trees and finish this out. And the next thing you know, you've got a beautiful, beautiful painting of Sedona, Arizona. Now, I'm going to go ahead while we got the time and show you one more little thing here. I have put a little highlight on these, these cedar trees. Take your number four bristle brush. Take a little bit of, let's see what we use over there. Take a little thalo yellow green, believe it or not, and a little orange. Now you mix these together, and you just wipe most of it off. And you don't have to do this to all of them, but some of these, you just dry brush a little wisp of highlight right on the edge like this. Just a little wisp like that. And that gives it just a little bit of a glow. And then you can come back later and finish putting in your tree limbs and you've got a beautiful painting. Well, as usual, folks, we're about to run out of time. This painting is going to be finished today. So all I got to have to do to finish mine is put the rest of my tree limbs in and then whatever you need to do to yours, of course. And then next time we meet, we're going to start a brand new painting. I've got some marvelous things coming up for you guys in the future, uh, including some things that we've been hearing from you. And don't hesitate to call us and let us know. Like I said, we're going to be doing some figure painting, some portrait painting with live model in here in the, in the setting. We're going to be doing some still lives, all kinds of neat things uh, that's going to really fascinate you guys and capture your imagination. So don't hesitate to have the courage to join us, and you'll, you'll learn so much from those things, okay? Well, I certainly hope you've enjoyed this painting. I have enjoyed showing it to you, and uh, I don't mind seeing a picture, so so if you get it done, send it to me. I can't get everyone critiqued, but we love to see what you've done, all right? So God bless you. Stay inspired. Keep painting. And I hope to see you again real soon right here on another Yarnell School of Fine Art. Thank you.